All right, so we just recorded an, another shit show, and we decided that it was probably best if we just end the show after this last showing. Um, I wanted to do a goodbye show. Anthony could give a fuck. <laughs> um, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> see you later. <laughs> So Anthony just woke up and he's being a bitch. If- <laughs> <laughs> I have, first of all, let me clear the air. I have no interest in ending the show. I don't want to end the show. I just don't want to record a show like that. <laughs> That's what I want. So then don't. You were you were the cause of it. it I mean, it was it was brutal. It was it was like okay, so I was kind of being a dick. I understand that. But it was because you were being a Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> say what you're gonna say. You don't have to censor yourself. Don't worry. I, I, won't, call, I won't call your boss. <laughs> um. So I'm, sh- I'm. I think this is probably one of them episodes that nobody will hear. There, there was probably a good solid three minutes funny shit, and then the rest of it was just us bickering. Which uh, I like that that was funny the arguments that we had were funny but you didn't think so and you made it obvious that you didn't think that what we were talking about was interesting so when you're not engaged in the conversation what do you think's gonna happen no i'm engaged when i'm talking exactly (laughs) if you're not if you're not engaged in the conversation and it's obvious to me that you don't want to talk about what we're talking about how would that possibly make for a good show? <laughs> so that's how that, that's how I felt. You you weren't into it. I was telling a story, and you were over there and started jerking your dick. I I just what? I have no. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, fuck, man. Maybe this show's just run its course. We're out of shit to talk about. We can't even talk about. We're uh, we are in the worst state as a country that we have been right in, in the last two months, and <laughs> the right. shit that's going on with these kids and gun control and all that. We can't even talk about that. There there is so much fucking comedy to be had from these fucking titheads, right? And we and and we got nothing. Yeah. I mean, I don't I I don't know. I I look forward to sitting down and recording, and then so did I. I was I was. We had good content, I think, this week to be able to record, and I was legitimately looking forward to recording. As soon as we sat down, I could tell within the first five minutes that it was not going to be a good show. <clears throat> it so wasn't we- that, that it wasn't going to be a fun show. It might, you know, what that show might be really, really good to listen to. I don't, I don't know. I mean, people, like, I don't, I don't think so. There was, pe- there was, it was an hour long, and there was probably a good solid. Eight to ten minutes of pauses, you know, like yeah, and then and then there was another fifteen minutes of useless bickering, and then another ten minutes of you crying, and another <laughs> ten minutes of me crying, which left five minutes of good content. The problem is, is that <clears throat> okay? One of the problems is that if we go for more than fifteen seconds without somebody saying something that you think is hilarious, then you think it's a worthless show. <laughs> Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> and, right. and and when you do that, it's fucking annoying to try to have a conversation. <laughs> Our conversations aren't normal when you do that. That's we, how I feel. That's how I feel. What's how you feel? What what do you mean? That our conversations aren't normal. Well, because because we're trying, I'm trying to have a normal conversation, and you're like, "Well, that's not funny. Let's move on. I don't want to talk about that. Let's move on." And then, well, why didn't we talk about that? You said you didn't want to fucking talk about it. Nobody gives a shit about what we have to say about gun control. And then and then you throw that out there. Then why even talk about it to make it funny? That's why that. So we 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 can't talk about it, but we need to talk about it to make it funny. What you can't have no, it both no, no, ways. No, 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 no. We can talk about it. If it's trying to be funny, when you start getting into your on your fucking soapbox and just spewing that rhetoric that you were spewing, which I thought was fucking retarded about Google Drive, and I, we did twenty five minutes on Google fucking Drive and fucking blowjob videos, right? Which I thought was funny. I thought it was good. It was interesting, but you didn't. So we obviously want to do a different 
kind of show. I, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is here. I thought that was interesting. I want to have interesting conversations. You want slapstick comedy every 10 seconds. I, I can't woo, do woo, that. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So fuck it. Let's fuck it. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. I, I don't know what you want from me, man. I'm not, I just don't get it. Uh, somebody to be funny. Yeah. See, I, we, we, we do a show and no matter which way I go with it, it's not the way you're gonna go with it. So I it's just I I don't I don't know what you want from me, man. <laughs> oh boy. I thought we were gonna have an interesting conversation about gun control, which we both feel strongly about, but but we couldn't. No, because you were talking about Google Drive for twenty five fucking minutes. Which is, in my opinion, it's an important thing that happened. Okay, or that what, is that is happening in our so society. So you don't see a fault. You don't see a fault in what you just said there. What? I thought we were going to talk about have an interesting conversation about gun control, right? But then Doug says, "But you talked about Google Drive." Yes, because I found that interesting. Yes, we 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 talked all week about all this shit with gun control, right? And then we spent twenty five minutes talking about Google fucking Drive, right? 25 minutes on our show where we can talk about whatever we want and you could have changed the subject bring, bring I tried gun- over and over again if, if if you go back I'll send you the audio or you send me the audio or whoever the fuck is going to do what I have the you can audio. see how many times I tried changing the subject as you say I do you you just told me I'm annoying because I try to change the subject when I can tell the conversation is not interesting and then when I do it and you keep going back down that same fucking road about fucking thumb drives or whatever it was you were bitching about putting putting your blowjob videos on fucking hard drives or something something yeah so yeah there is an interesting subject there but we don't we didn't have it it just it it wasn't in the cards tonight son (laughs) i i agree i i so what is it every third or fourth week we should just skip recording because this is what happens I, i i don't know what else to do all right, so if we end the show, if this is our last show right now, yeah, what does that mean? As far as you, do, you nobody's going to give a shit. No, nobody cares. We would save like six hours a week. I mean, fuck, I would, I would save that much time alone. Yeah. Okay. We'd lose that Patreon money. <laughs> yep. I don't know if we can survive without that. We should put a poll up. <laughs> yeah, up your butt. No, nothing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Too easy. It sucks because I I want to record a podcast. I love having a podcast. I love recording a podcast, but that's what we just did. No, I have no interest in doing that. I, 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 I felt like I was just sitting here being berated for an hour about everything I said. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> that's not fun for me at all. <laughs> oh, fuck, when you sell it like that, it makes me want to keep doing it. <laughs> you see? You are obviously not in a mood to record. No, you don't tell you don't have the fucking right to tell me what I'm in the mood to do and not to do. You said it when we first started the conversation. I'm not oh, in the I? mood to be funny. Did so, I? So yes. So But I still I, pulled I could through, tell, didn't I? No. I, I, I could tell within the first five my minutes. My Bubba of the, the Love com- Sport my Bubba the Love Sponge story wasn't funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Okay, then fuck off, dickhead. <laughs> what what funny did you bring? Nothing. I never do. <laughs> no, what funny did you bring? What'd you have prepared? <laughs> Nothing. I just told you that. Nothing. I had nothing prepared. We had a Trello board that we kind of put, loosely followed. I right? put what? Go ahead. Nothing. Go ahead. No, no. I, I put what? Nothing. No, I I put what? I put what? <laughs> go on. I I want somebody else impartial to listen to the show and... They will say, Jesus Christ, Doug was being a fucking dickhead. Just 
that, that's what that's the reaction that they will get. Because okay, so here here's what we're gonna do. Following this right here, yeah. Okay, don't forget when I say here's the thing. Don't shut your fucking mic off. We still got to try to come up with a fucking thirty second promo to get somebody to listen to this piece of shit. Right. Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna drop in the episode after this. Okay. And it it is what it is. If if you don't like it, fuck off. I don't care. Uh, but I do need to know if it's me being a dick or if Anthony's being a fucking wet blanket stick in the mud crybaby bitch. <laughs> what? Why can't it be both? <laughs> I'm not so, saying that I was not at. There was not some of of me at fault. But my reaction to you is when you're acting that way, it's always going to be bad. <clears throat> I play right. all, I play off of you, and when you're and, being that way, it's it's and, difficult for me. And when you act the way you were acting at the beginning of the show, that puts me in that mood to where, fine, again, the burden's on me. If I stop talking, Anthony's going to stop talking. What? I, what? I, I, can't, I can't stop to take a drink and depend on you to take over for a second. As soon as I stop talking, then you just shut down. What? What burden? What? <laughs> If it's a burden, then what? The, then what's the point? I don't understand. <laughs> if 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 just having a conversation is a burden, then why the fuck are we even doing this? Have you ever tried having a conversation with you? No. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> so then- <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> All right. So I want you, everybody, to listen to this, and then. Uh, uh, there's there's quite a few of you that that like to uh, tweet as soon as you're listening. So, just tweet tweet at us. Um, nah, that's not gonna work for me. I don't care. I I, I want to know who's being who's who's at fault for destroying this it, podcast. I already know what it's gonna be. It's my fault. I duh. All these people on Twitter that you interact with every day, you think they're gonna say, "Oh, it was definitely Doug." No, of course it was me. Of course. I'm, I, that's why I said somebody impartial. Okay, so everybody, you hear how he's acting right now? That's what you're about to listen to for the next 60 minutes. <laughs> See? And you hear that fucking attitude? That's what you're going to hear for the next 60 minutes. So so who do you who do you who's impartial that can listen to it? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> they're all your they're all your friends and they all think I'm retarded, so <laughs> Did you hear how you just said retarded? Yeah, retarded. <laughs> They're all retarded. Think I'm all retarded. right. See, all right. Fuck it. You're doing it again. You're, what, you're what am I doing? All right, everybody. So listen to the next <laughs> hour of bullshit. Uh, I apologize. This is not one of our finest moments. Uh, oh, I was on fire. Down with gun control. Up with the Thirteenth Amendment. Or something. Peace. Nope. Down with the Third Amendment. Bye. The truth is out there, and you'll find it if you look right away. Motherfucker. <laughs> that one I did on purpose. No shit. <laughs> oh All right, everybody. I am going to start right off with a, a story about what happened to me like three days ago. All right. So there are, I would say, four famous people that I would pay money to meet. Uh, hmm. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Jason Mewes. Yeah. Howard Stern. And, wow. and Bubba the Love Sponge. I, I, okay. I have been listening to Bubba uh, back whenever. The first time I listened to him was at a strip club in on the way to a strip club in Clearwater, Florida. And it was the year that California Love came out by Dre and Tupac. Uh, so how, however far back that is, we'll call it 40 years. I don't fucking know. It don't matter. <laughs> so anyway. At least 40 years. So... All the other celebrities and shit out there, except for Juliet Miranda, I don't I don't get all goofy when I have a chance to meet him or talk to him or whatever. Um, so I'm telling you all that to tell you this: I had an interaction on Twitter. Uh, Bubba followed us or followed my Twitter account. Woo! And I am telling you that gave me a fucking hard on, man. Because <laughs> I mean, so as soon as somebody follows you, you have the ability then to send them a direct message. So you have an yeah. open line of contact. And 
anybody that knows anything about radio, whether love him or hate him, you know Bubba the Love Sponge. Um, so <laughs> I seen that he followed he followed me, and I'm like, well, fuck, man, I I could say anything I want to one of the four people <laughs> in the world that I want to meet, and at minimum, I'll know that he read it because the little check mark will turn blue. <laughs> so I gave it a, I gave it a day. I didn't send anything to him. And then I was sitting there like, what's the one thing that I could write to him that, you know, I I, I don't want to come off like a, a mark or a, a douchebag, you know. <laughs> Man, you are. You're bringing back the old shit, you fucking mark. <laughs> so anyway, um, I got this idea. I'm like, well, you know, Bubba the Love Sponge is following us. And I don't know if you remember that green truck that I used to have, but I had a Bubba Army sticker in it. That's what it's from. Yeah. Um I'm like, well, fuck, I'm going to put Bubba, Bubba Army on our header, you know, because, yeah. I mean, uh, whether you, you are or not, I'm part of the Bubba Army. You can't stop me from that. I, 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 if, if we're being completely honest, I don't even know who the fuck that is. So, I, I mean, I bought all his DVDs. <laughs> I bought, uh, I listened to him on Sirius, listened to him on uh, all that other shit. Anyway, so long story mm-hmm. short, I got the balls up to write a message that uh, I thought would hopefully spark a conversation with him, and it did. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I'm going to read it to you because it's mm-hmm. it's very I'm very proud of of having a conversation with somebody that I idolize. Okay. Hey Bubba, I just wanted to make sure you were okay with us using the Bubba Army logo in our header. I don't want to give anyone the false impression that that you are endorsing our shit show. It is more of an homage from me to you. Let me know. Thanks, man. And it was like. Ten minutes later, I seen the check mark because I was checking it all the time. I, I seen that it turned blue, and then the little dots came up, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm about ready to have a conversation with Bubba the fucking Love Sponge. I'm gonna read back. Uh-huh. I'm gonna read back what he wrote. Ready? Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Man, it's awesome that he took the time. I know. Fuck. <laughs> sure. So. Fuck, and he he probably typed, sure, fucking douchebags. <laughs> he, he was just too, he he didn't even care enough to type fucking douchebags. Like, yeah, you just you could just see him typing it and rolling his eyes. <laughs> fucking douchebags, sure. Yeah. Fuck, man, whatever. All right. Anyway, I, I thought that was funny. I was I was uh. Uh, I was all excited about that. It's like I officially had a conversation with Bubba the Love Sponge. <laughs> God damn it! That's your claim to fame. <laughs> awesome, just awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, this is another good one. Uh, before we get into our the meat and potatoes of our show this week, <laughs> we got potatoes. <laughs> we have a. One star review, finally. No way. Um, so we, we we had one, if you remember. We got one back in the old days when we used to be assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back before our show was good. <laughs> well, you remember we got we got one from Mindy from yes, yeah, and then she took it down. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so all right. <laughs> I'm I, I got nothing. I'm not. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh, I'm gonna read this one first. This is a okay. five star review. All right. And normally I don't read them, but this one just happens to be in the same screenshot, and it's kind of funny. So, okay. Uh, in a world full of let's be careful what we say podcasts, these guys have no fear. That said, the comedy is still smart and doesn't go for the easy shots. I fully recommend Anthony's mother. (laughs) So thank you for that, whoever did that. All right. I'm I'm scared of spiders. I'll just throw that out there. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So here's our one-star review. And, oh, this... I don't give a... We've talked about these before. You know, we appreciate the time that somebody took to write a five-star review, but we really don't care. Um, <laughs> I got sent a message on Twitter that said, wow, you really pissed Lacey off. And I wrote back, who the fuck is Lacey? <laughs> who's, who's Lacey? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they said, somebody just left you a one-star review, which, 
okay, so somebody else is checking our reviews for us. So when we get a one star, they let us know. Nice. Um, we don't have to do no work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then I, I went and, you know, obviously looked. I was interested well, to yeah. see what what, what we could have had to say, what we could have possibly said to, to get a one star review. <laughs> can I guess? Before? <laughs> Please do. Can, can, does it have something to do with cripples and homosexuals? Nope. Damn it. Has to do with autism. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is from Lacey U28. Uh, that's a funny well. That's a funny way to spell cunt. But yeah, really. All right. Other listeners find this show funny. Not me. I checked out the most recent episode and listened to Doug whine and complain that he's taking heat for another show he guest hosts. Your comments weren't taken out of context, but that is what you and WATP do to every show you bash. You sit by and laughed when the host talked about a missing woman with autism being easy to control sexually. You laughed when the host called women derogatory names. You can yell on who's right that rape is bad all you want. Too too little, too late. So, so that was a review of his show, so, not ours. But it was a review of when somebody else guest hosted on his show. That's so shitty. <laughs> Lacey's an idiot. So it, 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 it just sparked an idea. It, I want to see who can give us the most creative one-star review. Like, even if it's about, like, Shopping at our store or the food that we cooked wasn't served properly. We want, we honestly don't care. Just make it interesting and at least more applicable than what that fucking bitch just wrote it. That she, yeah, she gave us a one star review based on a podcast that I wasn't even on. <laughs> yeah, Doug, you can scream about not liking rape or whatever. When's, I don't remember you ever screaming about not liking rape. I hate rape, God damn it! <laughs> you know what? That's too little too late, mister. Too little too late. The damage is already done. What What damage? I mean, seriously, what damage? <laughs> Doug, autism, come on. <laughs> you know, autism. It's, it's, it's autism, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new shirt. Say no to rape. <laughs> say, <laughs> say no to being raped. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the old, uh, if they would just dress appropriately. The autistic kids? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how oh, how exactly God. do you expect an autistic person to dress appropriately? <laughs> You know what? I I just realized something. <laughs> All right. I don't know what autism is. It's a, it's a spectrum. Oh. Huh. All right. <laughs> Does that help? Can, like a rainbow. Ta-da! Can can you define autism? <laughs> yeah, it's a spectrum. No, I'm did. serious. Yeah, it's a it's a learning disability. Oh, then I got autism. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to break the news to you. I figured somebody else might as well do that. Is it a specific learning disability or just like, because in high school, I refused to study. <laughs> yep. That's, that's a learning disability. <laughs> no, it's, 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 uh, oh, it's, there's different forms of autism. You can like go from high functioning to low. All right, functioning. moving on. Yeah, exactly. It's not it's not interesting or or fun. All I know is that if you have autism, there's a form of autism called Asperger's, which I think is hilarious. That's all that's all I got. Asperger's. That See, that's the easy that's the easy jokes. We're not supposed to go for the easy ones, right? Yeah, yeah you never cease to amaze me. What? I, I like it cuz it's Asperger's. Exactly. You know, well, uh, Asperger's. <laughs> Yeah, ass burgers. Bacon. Get it? Get it? Ass. Bacon. Ass burgers. <laughs> All right, this show's shit. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe you should have slept a little longer. You can't, you can't say the show's shit because one joke didn't land. Come on. Come on. You got to give it a little longer shit than that. burgers. Let couple, you got to let a couple of jokes not land. <laughs> so is there anything going on on uh, gun control? 
No, why? <laughs> have you heard anything? <laughs> have you heard anything that I haven't heard? So I think I think everything else we have here has to do with that in one way or another, right? I think so. Every, everything that I, yeah, I mean, pretty much. <laughs> Let's just get right into it, right? <laughs> well, you got porn on Google Drive. I, I, I looked. I couldn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find any. <laughs> We can get that out of the way if you want. Um, so I, I got an email. Uh, you got it too, I'm sure, about the changes to um, Microsoft's terms of service. You okay? Yeah. 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 So they are. Uh, I, they're not allowing cussing on their ter- on their services anymore. They're gonna. Uh, they can kick you off of Microsoft. You cancel your Microsoft account if you use. Uh, offensive language jesus christ my brain's not working what the fuck is <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with I couldn't, you i couldn't think of offensive language i was like cussing uh <laughs> do, do i need to start writing you out a script or something i i think you do all right uh so microsoft is um uh, uh, offensive language they <laughs> they will kick you off of microsoft if you use um uh, offensive language uh, thank offensive, thanks for bringing that uh, um, news story in anthony a- Aspergers. <laughs> See, it landed that time. <laughs> Bring it all back around. So, anyways, it was uh, more of like a they're trying to censor what we're allowed to say on their their um, platform, right? So, Skype, um, Outlook. OneDrive, which we use OneDrive and we use Skype. So I was concerned that... Why would you say that? What? Why would you say that? Why not? Fuck them. Take our shit down. I don't give a fuck. Come at me, bro. <laughs> did, you, did you not want to record tonight? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I did. I'm all about it. <laughs> You got nothing. <laughs> Fuck. You you every time I start talking you're fucking smacking your gums around your lips. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> you got I was th- trying I was trying to get I was trying to get to a point but you won't you won't let me. It just takes me a while to get there, and, and you you won't let me lollygag the way there. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> you're right. Oh shit! All right, take it, take it from the top. What do you got? Nothing. Did you have a punchline or a gimmick or anything with the sex workers? say porn on google drive i i was talking about it i was getting there i was i was kind of trying to make the point no but did you have like a is it something funny no not necessarily i just thought it would spark an interesting conversation all right we we had talked to we had talked to sex workers and stuff like that before talked about sex workers all right so this is from motherboard.vice.com it what? says sex workers say porn on Google Drive is suddenly disappearing. I think you put this up here. Yes. Uh, so porn performer Avi Moon was trying to send the lucky winner of her. What the fuck is Chatterbait? It's uh, like a webcam service. Is it free? No. Who? Well, I think the I think the service is free, but they have subscription. Like you can subscribe to your favorite people or or donate to them, basically. <clears throat> but I think the service is free. It's like a uh, kind of like a Skype, but but a sex sexual type thing. Mm. Mm. Uh, porn performer Amy Moon was trying to send the lucky winner of her Chatterbait contest his prize, one of her videos titled "POV Blowjob," through her Google Drive. I account. wonder what that's about. Autism. No, Asperger's. <laughs> it's, it's about Asperger's. Through her Google Drive account, but it wouldn't send, and Google wasn't telling her why. 
I thought there was something wrong with my file, and I got rather worried, Moon told me in a Twitter <laughs> message. Hey, I think it's time we do an interview, or uh, a back and forth. Yeah? Sounds good to me. All right, so you're going to be, what's her name? Amy Moon. Why do I got to be the moon? <laughs> Go. Second paragraph. I thought there was something wrong with my file, and I got rather worried. Your female voice sucks. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Do it again. All right, let me try it again. This time, only make it sound like you suck dick. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with my file, and I got rather worried. <laughs> Can't you do a female voice? No. <laughs> Just talk. No. Just talk in a higher pitch. I thought there was something wrong. (laughs) Oh, shit. Like one octave up. Go. (laughs) One octave up. I don't even think you know what that means. Uh. (laughs) Oh, oh, I guess you do. (laughs) You said, "Uh." there, talk just like that. Go. Uh, I thought there was. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I can't do it. I thought there was something wrong with my file, and I got rather worried. I had promised. Hey, this God guy damn it! You fuck it up. <laughs> you what? you read between the quotes, and then I read the other shit. What are you talking about? You. Read... I had pro- I had promised this guy his content. That's no, me. No, 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 no. You skipped a whole fucking line. You skipped the narration. Moon told me in a Twitter message? Yeah, I'm the guy. You're the girl. (laughs) Douche. Start over. Take seven. (laughs) Take seven. Action. I thought there was something wrong with my file, and I got rather worried. I don't want to do this bit anymore. (laughs) You're a fuckstick. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. All right, anyways, Google is uh, trying to take away your porn or something. <laughs> they said that Google Drive no longer seems sex trade friendly. <laughs> sex trade friendly. I, so is this a problem? I don't. Yes. I, it is? I, to me, it is. <clears throat> Why? I mean, not, not, not like directly, but because these people have enough, a hard enough time making money. And now here's one more avenue where they're taking it away from them. For what reason? They're not hurting anybody. You, you don't think that that's a problem? You, you think that if Google is one of the biggest companies in the world, right? So if Google decides no more porn on our services, that affects lots and lots of people. Like a, a disproportionate amount of people get affected by that. And Google isn't... They're not elected. Nobody gets to decide who runs Google. So they're basically legislating without being elected. Yeah, that's a problem. Or. Nope. Or they are a company that has rules, and if you want to use their services, you follow their rules. Right. What's the alternative, though? Uh, Dropbox. Does that even exist anymore? Yes. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure about so, it. <laughs> okay, so then what happens when Dropbox does the same thing? And then when Microsoft does the same thing, which they are, wh- where where do you go? What, what do you mean, where do I go? I continue Not you. you. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> then, then who are you talking about when you say you? If you are a sex trader. <laughs> I'll, I'll trade you for sex. <laughs> for some carrots. <laughs> I love carrots. <laughs> If you are a sex worker and you want to sell your videos and Google says no, Microsoft says no, all the services just decide, nope, we're not going to do that anymore. So they are basically making selling videos of sex illegal without ever being elected. No, they're not making it illegal. If you can't do it, it's the same as being illegal. So you're telling me without Google Drive... Or Dropbox, there's no way to sell sex videos. No, 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 no. I didn't say that at all. I'm saying that that's the 
that's where everything is headed is is trading through cloud services whatever that's good though it's good <clears throat> it's good they make it hard to to sell that shit you, you gonna back that up or I don't need to back it up I don't need to back up what I tell you fuck off <laughs> Ah, I guess you win this argument. <laughs> it's good. What's good about it? I'm fucking fascist. That means it's free. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you can't sell it, you give it away, just like an old pickle. <laughs> Love old pickles. <laughs> so I would say, if if we let this go, the the natural extension to there, me, there which, is no letting it go, Anthony. It's their business model. They do what they want. Listen. You listen! <laughs> if we let this go and don't do anything about it, the natural extension is Verizon is going to be able to say, well, when you make a call with Verizon, we don't want you to use offensive language, so we're going to listen into your phone calls, and Beep. if you use offensive language, Beep. then we, we'll just shut off your Verizon service. <laughs> okay, then go to Sprint. And then when, when Sprint does that, then what? T-Mobile. Then, then when they do it, then what? Cricket. Then what? I wireless. Then what? I'm out. AT and T. <laughs> then what? You see where I'm going with this? By <clears throat> Verizon. If all, if, by then, then Verizon <clears throat> will come around just like they did with their data plan and say, "Come to Verizon. <laughs> we now allow the word fuck to be said on." <laughs> I understand that you're playing devil's advocate, I, but you don't have I, an I, argument. I am not playing devil's advocate. I don't see anything you, wrong. You are. With you are. You're not that stupid. You're, you're playing devil's advocate. I, I love when somebody disagrees with you. So you think then that the company that created it shouldn't be allowed to make rules as to who uses it? No. Then you're a fucking idiot. No, I, I think there are, are there are services that are for the common good, right? Like like phone services. What what's the difference? If you're if you're arguing for Google being able to censor whatever they want on their services, what's the difference from Verizon and all the other phone companies doing it? What's to stop Verizon from saying you can't say fuck on our service? There's a difference between OneDrive not allowing child porn to be transferred versus whatever it is that you are saying people saying fuck on the phones or whatever. The difference is that child porn is illegal. Which is, and and how did, how, how did that happen? How did what happen? Because of people like you, that's why. <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> I'm pretty, we're, we're moving touche. on. Touche. <laughs> oh, oh, you're losing the argument, so we're moving on. I didn't lose the argument. I proved the argument. If the... <laughs> You're, you're, you? you're doing the typical straw man type of argument, and, and it's not holding up. How? How is it a straw man? I'm asking you a serious question. If Google can do it, and they're a private company, why can't Verizon? Autism. <laughs> it's Asperger's, you Asperger. <laughs> so I, I already, you, you, you don't have an answer. You I can't answer. I gave you the fucking answer. It's their service. Okay, so you walk into a fucking Burger King. And it says, no shoes, no shirt, no service. How come you're not out there fucking picking them? You're not bitching about them saying you got to take them down. What, what What? if people can't afford a shirt? Or why does it matter? I want. I don't want to wear my fucking Uggs in, in Burger King, get ketchup on them. If, <laughs> you speaking from experience? Or <laughs> if, if I can't wear a shirt, <clears throat> or if I have to wear a shirt into Burger King... That doesn't stop me from expressing myself in any way, shape, or form. It most definitely does. If I can't Bert express Kreischer, myself. Burt Kreischer has to get out of his gimmick and put a shirt on to go into Burger King. And you're okay with that. Uh, He's the machine, god damn it. So, so you bring up straw man, and then you... Put up a straw man. That's what. Is that we? I I wasn't using a straw man, to, but that's exactly what you're doing. You are. You are. You are comparing things that are not on the same level field, and I'm asking you a question that you can't. Wait answer. a minute. So you're telling me that Google Drive saying if you are going to use our service, you will not transmit pornography, right? Is the same thing as Verizon saying you can't say fuck. You're telling me that's the same thing. 
Yes. Okay, you win then. I'm not going to sit here and argue with a fucking retard. You win. You're right. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you fucking are. <laughs> so what? what's the difference? I want you to explain I, no, to me what I, the difference is. I said you're is. right. You're, you're, no, I want you to explain you're right. to me what the difference is. I can't I know that. because you're right. <clears throat> I know that I'm right. But Nobody should make any rules you... for anything that they start. Any company, any business, it should all be governed by the law of the land or whatever the fuck it was you were babbling about, about not having a dictatorship or something. Fuck, I don't even pay attention when I'm out. <laughs> You fucking turd. I all I, it's a simple question. Do you think that Verizon should what would happen if they say you can't say fuck on our service anymore? Do you think that that's acceptable? Yes. Is that- <laughs> Go on, Anthony. Oh, fuck. That was funny. I was laughing my <laughs> ass off. <laughs> you are so fucked. Your thinking is so fucked. No, I said <sighs> you were right. I, I know I'm right, but you're just saying that to patronize me. <laughs> No, I'm saying it because you changed my mind. When somebody mm. creates a, a business or a service, immediately all control should be taken from them. Right, because that's what I said. Now you're just being stupid. I thought I was being stupid when I disagreed with you. <laughs> but I never said that. Never once did I say that. I think you did. If, if we had the ability to rewind this, you said essentially the same thing. No. Nope. Not at all. There are things that are in the common interest. Hold on. Like, okay. Like telephone service. I'm going to drop it in right here. You, what still, you... you still haven't Hold answered on. my question. I'm going to drop it in right here what you said. Okay. See? I was right. <laughs> you heard You're it. You're going to have to cut, cut and paste whatever you want together, but I never said that. No, so, I'm, I'm dropping in I, exactly what you said. You're just so fucking stupid. You forgot that you said it. I've, I've asked I've asked you probably six times and you just will not answer the question because you know that you're fucking wrong. What do you think that telephone service is a common good that they should be able to censor what you say on the telephone because they own the telephone lines? You asked me three different questions or ask me one question at a time. Do you think they should be able to censor what you say on the telephone because they own the telephone lines? Yes. So like Verizon, Verizon should be able to tell you what you can and can't say on the telephone. Yes. Do you really believe that? No. no but then what's the difference? Yes. <laughs> See, you know you're fucking wrong, but you're just fucking with me. <laughs> no. Asperger's? <laughs> Asperger's? So this wasn't even supposed to be the contentious part of our show. We we weren't even supposed to really argue about this. I mean, this was fucking petty shit. <laughs> like, your views are so fucked, I can't just let it go. I I and and you're wrong. So that's about the, your views on this, and I don't want to go through it again. It's why. Okay, they say don't put porn up. Don't put porn up. What's the problem? I've already told you the problem like 50 times. You just don't fucking listen. So do you think you should be able to store anything that you want on Google Drive? Anything that is legal, yes. Okay. What's oh, the problem? Was that the, was, was, that, was that the only question? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask more questions. <laughs> how do they monitor what? how old you are? How old you are? Yeah. Isn't it up to them to make sure that... that the people using their stuff is uh, above age to have that stuff. No, that's that's not on them at all. That's, they're not law enforcement. Oh, so it's up to law enforcement to monitor your Google Drive to make sure that you are old enough no. to have porn. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. You you asked me a simple question. I gave you a simple answer. Do you, is it up to Google to monitor to make sure you're of age. No, Google's not law enforcement. They don't enforce laws, so it's not up to them to enforce laws. Okay, so then as a follow-up question, yeah. so then by what you said, you think it's yeah. law enforcement's responsibility to monitor, monitor your Google Drive? No. 
Why not? But because I don't think it's anybody's responsibility to how, monitor how else my are they, Google Drive. How else are they supposed to know that you have illegal porn on there if they don't monitor it? They're they're not. So if if you let the world go the way you want, then everybody would have child pornography on their Google Drive. And you're okay with that? You're probably okay with people owning guns, too. You don't even care. Uh, let's, hey, let's not take this too far, all right? You don't even care about the kids. Uh-huh. That was a beautiful segue. Thank you. So I got to do that then, too? <laughs> this picture that you put up, it, I think sums it all up there's a lady at, at one of those uh gun right marches holding a sign is freedom more important than safety and she's got freedom in quotes like uh you know freedom <laughs> how was that again <laughs> freedom <laughs> like that <laughs> freedom <laughs> i think this sign pretty much sums up everything that they that they think is freedom more important than safety? And she's asking that in a non-sarcastic way. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> I honestly have a real big problem. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to make this funny. But it, that means it'll just go along with the rest of this show. The The thing that's going on with gun control now is like, I mean, we just did gun control like three days ago or three shows ago. Mm -hmm. And I think my opinion was, you know, all guns should be legal. It's the people that own them that should be controlled. You know, like mental disabilities and apparently <laughs> autism. And <laughs> uh huh. And, and, you know, you always you keep crossing that line of, well, who is going to say who can own one and who can't? Who 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 defines it? Um, but now I'm I'm I I've changed my mind since this last school shooting and this these kid marches and all that. Uh huh. I think that guns should be everywhere. I think we need <laughs> I think we need to thin the herd. <laughs> I I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just get it down to where everybody agrees that we need to have guns. And if you don't, well, you don't exist anymore. <laughs> this shit is, it's, it, it is so out of control that now if you are just for protecting the Second Amendment, whatever that means, if you yeah. just say, I don't want to lose any more rights, yes, then the next their rebuttal is then you don't care about kids getting murdered. <laughs> yeah. Yep. The, I mean, it's, it couldn't be more cartoony and ridiculous. It's like, it's out of a movie. I mean, it's like they wrote this fucking like a, script. It's like know? it's out of a poorly written movie. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. I don't even know. And, it's it's so obvious that these these kids are I, w I was 17 18 years old once they're stupid kids are stupid I was stupid you were stupid they're all stupid so it's obvious that they're being funded first and they're being coached second just just for the mere fact that there are no intelligent well-spoken 18 year olds they just don't fucking exist they're idiots <laughs> This is a, a tweet from one of those one of those kids. It says the Second Amendment was written when African Americans were still considered three fifths of a person. As a matter of fact, if you read it, it didn't even call them African Americans. It called them other persons. Okay, so that don't even make sense, but it, it called them other persons. I really don't want to listen to two hundred years ago for everything. What? <laughs> 200, I don't want to listen to 200 years ago for everything. Yeah, I, yeah, so I think he's saying what was said 200 years ago does not apply anymore for any of the Constitution or the amendments that have have, have been made. So that was a tweet from, from one of those gun rights activists, right? Uh, so Gun control. 
gun, or, yeah, gun control activist. Sorry. So I had a conversation with somebody in my personal life, and we had a face to face conversation, and then it continued through text message. And I want to read you the text messages that he sent to me. <clears throat> no man, seriously, we should lobby to get the AKs back because clearly that violates my Second Amendment right. Even though when that was written, we only had single round muskets only white men could own them shit they could own black people too we might as well take it back to when life was much simpler how dare we try to amend any kind of laws that were written 400 years ago that only convenienced white men so that line of thinking has bled into my personal life and i associate with nobody i try not to talk to anybody and the few people that i do talk to it's bled into them i i I don't know what's going to happen when they try to take away our right to or they try to take away our 13th amendment rights oh we are so fucked we can't we can't be giving up our 13th amendment do you know what the fourth amendment is yes what is it it is um the right to due process how do you know that (laughs) because i'm smart i don't know i just know (laughs) That's all, that all I know is first, second, third, and fourth, <laughs> and 13th. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Protection from unreasonable searches and seizures. Yeah. Is that due process? Uh, yeah. I mean, basically, it's where it brings up due process. I'm for taking away gun. I'm, I'm for taking away the guns first, due process second. <laughs> so that is a whole other issue, that uh, Me Too movement, hashtag Me Too. That is... Uh, chipping away at our fourth amendment rights due process if if a woman says she was raped she was raped doesn't matter you're you're not allowed to no more innocent until proven guilty how is that going to stop you from having seizures though i don't understand how this works what (laughs) what the fuck are you talking about protection from unreasonable searches and seizures (laughs) unreasonable seizures (laughs) the seizures that you have are totally reasonable (laughs) very well (laughs) It's really the third amendment that I'm worried about. No so, so, no soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. That's the yeah. one you're worried about? Yep, I'm I'm really worried they're going to take that one away from us. <laughs> we ought to start a fucking movement. <laughs> Repeal the third amendment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. That's great. <coughs> I bet if we lived in a big enough city, we could we could get a petition together and stand on the street, and people would sign that. <laughs> repeal the Third Amendment. <laughs> no. Do you want to repeal it, or do you want to go on record as trying to protect it? I want to repeal it. I, I am want, tired of I Don- want soldiers in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump is trying to take away our Third Amendment rights. I think we need to try to get that trending on Twitter. <laughs> I think you can just make up whatever you want. Donald Trump is trying to do whatever, and people will just jump right on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. We were going to do this whole thing on on these kids and shit, but I don't even fucking want to talk anymore. <laughs> you don't even want to talk. Why do you do a podcast then? You're right. <laughs> You're right. Who's right? So I wanted to I wanted to mention this <clears throat> tweets from phone. Apparently, I had some tweets I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I guess. So one of those uh, gun rights activists or gun control activist guys um, is complaining that after their spring break, whatever it is, when they come back to school, the school implemented a policy that said they have to wear clear backpacks. So that uh, teachers, I'm, I'm assuming, so the teachers can see that you don't have a gun, I guess, <laughs> in your backpack. But he is saying that uh, one of these gun con- gun rights activists, gun control activists, is saying that that violates his First Amendment rights. He shouldn't have to wear a clear backpack because it violates his rights. But he's completely okay with taking away your Second Amendment rights. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah. 
It's unnecessary, it's embarrassing for a lot of students, and it makes them feel isolated and separated from the rest of American school culture, where they've essentially their First Amendment rights infringed upon because they can't freely wear whatever backpack they want, regardless of what it is. I don't think that that's what the First Amendment... I don't... So I believe... (laughs) I thought the first amendment was that I could say whatever I wanted about the president and they couldn't arrest me as long as I didn't threaten harm. Right. Um, you can say whatever you want about any you can say anything you want as long as you don't with, without repercussion threaten. from the government. <clears throat> from the government, right. Yeah. Um so if I get on here and say autism is cool or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um I can't be arrested for it, but I can be harassed by a bunch of fucking cunt holes on Twitter. And it's what I have. Don't say cunt holes. (laughs) It's what I have. It's what I have coming to me. Right. I mean, no, no, no. I disagree with that. No bullshit. If if, if I get on here and say um, something, blah, 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 autism, funny, ha. um, And people get pissed (laughs) off about it. You can expect that. You can expect people to get pissed off at you. Sure. That's harassment and being pissed off are two different things, though. But either way, harassment is acceptable. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> I don't understand. I was sitting here trying to make a fucking point, and you just want to argue. You act like this is a goddamn debate show. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Obviously, Doug's done, so we'll go ahead and call her quits for the night. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, go ahead. What were you saying? I was responding to what you said. Uh, no, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I was. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> what? So, what? You were you were talking, <laughs> and then you responded. So respond. Uh, well, you kind of threw me off. Now we were in the we were in the moment talking, and. <laughs> Kind of stop the whole thing, so I don't remember exactly where I was at. Uh, you were saying that I, I, people I don't agree get, with you. Uh, <laughs> what don't What don't you agree with? I don't think that you should expect to be harassed. I don't think harassment is an acceptable response to saying something that offends somebody. I agree with that statement. But you just you just said you you should expect to be harassed. Right, but I agree with that statement also. What? <laughs> <laughs> if you say something, knowing if so, if you say something and you know, like, uh, for instance, hypothetically, let's mm-hmm. say that you say that somebody is gay and crippled, so he's got two disabilities. <laughs> Who would say something like that? <laughs> you can expect that people are going to be pissed off and they're sure. going to reach out. Re- sure, why not? Okay, that's all I was saying. It doesn't mean you can't say, I've got freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want. All it means is that you can't get arrested by the gimps. They can't come to your house and arrest you. See, that this is where we, I think we need to have... <sighs> more of a nuanced conversation i guess because i think that what, what does that mean as a as a con- i think that as a concept what's that mean what's what mean nuanced it means we need to look at it from more angles look at it differently not just black and white it's not you know you don't have to bring race into it all right so now you fuck me all up As a concept, I think that we should strive for free speech more than just a legal concept. I think we should, it should be, we should want people, we should embrace people saying whatever it is they want to say. There are legal protections that say you can't threaten somebody. I understand that. But other than the legal protections that are applied, we should have the ability to say whatever we want. Not just law wise, but. People should respect that you have the ability to say whatever you want. That's yeah. what that's what makes this country great. No, <clears throat> that is the most absurd thing. I I think that, and I'm not trying to be funny or anything. I think tell. that is quite <laughs> fucking dick. 
I think that is quite possibly the dumbest thing you've ever said. You've said that a lot of times. <laughs> you're what you're saying is that you should say whatever be able to say whatever you want and yes. nobody get upset by it. No, 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 no. Get upset? Yes. Get upset. Have a conversation with me. Explain your point of view. Mm-hmm. Tell me why you're upset. Don't call my job and try to get me fired. Don't don't try to take my podcast off the air or stop other people from hearing what I have to say. Are, are, make a point. Argue back. Make make a point that disputes what I've said. <clears throat> no, okay. So I I don't disagree with any of that. That that is not that is not how it came off when you said it before. The way it came off how you said it before was that people should be able to just say whatever they want and not worry and or care about hurting somebody else's feelings. I, I agree with that. I think that society would be a lot better if we just said what we wanted and didn't worry about hurting other people's feelings. When you when you self-censor at the expense of everybody's feelings, it, it doesn't help anybody. You still you still think those things, you still feel those things. <clears throat> we think horrible things every single day, but Trying to spare other people's feelings stops us from saying those horrible things. Well, it doesn't make those horrible things go away. I don't know what horrible things you're talking about or you think you think that you think. <laughs> you think you think that you think. Is that right? Uh-huh. Right. Is, is, is there too many thinks in there? No, but, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there, they, there's a name for people that just walk around saying everything that's on their minds. Assholes? Autistic. (laughs) I don't think that's true. (laughs) I don't think that's true at all. Yeah, it is. (laughs) (laughs) Is that right? No, there's a disease. So like I said, I don't know. I don't even know what autistic means. There's a disease that, that somebody can't, they just they have no governor. They just say what's on their mind. Yeah. Yeah, and they're a fucking bitch to be around. Nobody wants to listen <laughs> to that shit. And that's what you think everybody should walk around like is hey, yes. you look fat today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be awesome. Hey fatty, what's up? <laughs> that would be great. I would love to live in that world. <laughs> no. Your your problem is that you tell me, t- tell you, me what my problem is. You Doug. just like hurting people with words. Yeah. yeah, and any other way I can. Yeah, sure. That's no way. You to know live. why? That's no way to no, live. It, it's a great way to live. You know why? People are worthless, shitty, horrible, terrible. I don't give a fuck. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Will you? Will you really? <laughs> I think the majority of people are shitbags, and the majority of people try to pretend like everybody else isn't a shitbag. That we try to pretend like we're all good people. There are no good people. They're all shitbags. <laughs> so, so what's the fucking point? So, so just, why are you say whatever you want to say? Why are you still alive? What do you mean? Why haven't you killed yourself? Why would I? I love life, man. My life is awesome. <laughs> Everybody's a shitbag. Yes. That doesn't affect me. I mean, I, everybody's a shitbag. So you once you realize that, you just right, you hold just on. play along with it. Here we you go. Just go. You just go into the game. We're going we're gonna to play a game. Okay. Is your wife a shitbag? Mm-mm. No, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what about your kids? Are they shitbags? No, they're cool. Parents? Next question. <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Co-host. Oh, he's definitely a shit bag. <laughs> okay, so what you are telling me is that yeah. there are people out there that aren't shit bags. Few and far between, yes. Okay. So how do you not know that you're not talking to one of those good people when you make one of your shitty jokes that are just trying to hurt people's feelings. I don't care. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I mean, I, I if I'm being 100% honest, I don't give a shit. If I find out after the fact that you're decent, 
I'm not giving anybody the benefit of the doubt. If I find out after the fact that you're cool, maybe I'll apologize. Maybe I won't. <laughs> if you take offense to it, then you're obviously not that cool. I don't. I don't believe any of this. I think this what? is a shtick for for you recording. What you think? What, all right. What do you think? That what do you think that I think then? The guy that wrote you that text message that you just read about the gun control. Yeah. What'd you say? To, what'd you say in return? Oh, let's see. I'll read it and see. I want you to screenshot this conversation and print it out so that when they try and take away your handguns, you can look back and say, hmm, maybe we shouldn't have started to just hand our freedoms away. You're not arguing from place of logic or anything rational. It's pure emotion, and that makes for shitty lawmaking. <clears throat> so you bitched out. How, how's that? <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. I'll suck your dick. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go back and talk about the gay cripple guy. That was fun. All right. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, we were going to do this whole show about gun control, and then we barely touched on it. Yeah, so let's talk about it. What Not, do you think? No, fuck, we're already like an hour in. So? What do you, what, what do you got going on? <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's not. I don't have any. I, I don't, don't have anything you. funny to say. I, don't, I, yeah, I can tell. I, this whole fucking show, I can tell. You're being sort of a dickhead. Oh fuck! Again with that. Every three shows. <laughs> now we won't talk for two fucking days, and you'll be all butt hurt. Oh, no, Doug, I'm not. I'm Doug, not butt hurt. Doug was mad. He was mad to me. <laughs> he was mad to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. No, Anthony, I'm not quitting the show. I'm just no, tired. I had a blah, long day. Blah, blah, blah. Just know. a dickhead. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm just tired of having to carry the fucking show. I stopped yeah. talking and you stopped talking. Okay, you're just being a dickhead. See, every, every, like you said, every third show or so, you just like are just total, total, total fucking, fucking dickhead. dickhead. <laughs> exactly. And it doesn't make for a good show. Maybe it makes a good show to listen to. I don't care. I bet, it it makes it, it a does. good show for me to do. That's all I care about. I, I don't, I, I don't I care about anybody else. It. Fuck it. Fuck you and your feelings. <laughs> I don't have any feelings. <laughs> oh, my God. Why don't you read our one-star review again? How about... <laughs> what about this? This all is... Right. This is this ought to bring about some good comedy. All right. Texas officer fatally shoots unarmed man walking with pants down. Get it? What? <laughs> what, get it? <laughs> it yep. <laughs> get it? The Harris County Sheriff's Office released dash cam video of the shooting as the use of lethal force by police comes under renewed scrutiny across the nation. An unarmed black man who was shot dead by a Texas police officer last Thursday had been walking towards the cop with his pants down. And they are. He's not just sagging. His pants are down around his ankles. <laughs> he's scooting along. <laughs> when the officer fired the lethal shot, according to the video of the shooting released by the Harris County Sheriff's Office on Monday. In the clip taken from Deputy Cameron Brewer's dashboard camera, 34-year-old Danny Ray Thomas can be seen walking in the middle of a Houston road with his pants around his ankles. Brewer had stopped his car at an intersection after noticing a skirmish between Thomas and another man who was seen in the video shoving Thomas. Brewer, who is black, stepped out of the vehicle and can be heard repeatedly shouting, Get down, man. Get down on the ground. As Thomas approached him, a single gunshot then rings out off screen before Brewer appears at the bottom edge of the video, apparently attempting to perform CPR on the wounded man. Family members told the Chronicle that Thomas had suffered from depression. His two young children, they said, had died in 2016 after allegedly being drowned by their mother, who has been charged with murder and is awaiting trial. Uh, so it, 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 so the, the cop was black as well, right? I, I, does it say that? Well, so I thought it said... Uh, yeah, okay, in the, in the clip taken from Deputy... Cameron Brewer's dashboard cam. <clears throat> and then further down, it says Brewer, who is black, stepped out of oh, the vehicle okay. and can. So yeah. this isn't even news then, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't even news. 
Awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> nope. So I think that we would do better if we could just remove the racial uh, thing from um, police shootings, right? If police shoot innocent people, isn't isn't innocent life worth the same, whether it's black or white? Or is that not true? So Okay, fine. If we're not trying to be funny, yes, that's true. I, I was just asking you a question. That you don't have a follow up. You, you got something funny to say? You don't have a follow up. To not to that, no. <laughs> <sighs> so you ask a dumb question. Of course, innocent life is the same whether you're white or black. Mm. What about Mexicans? All right, we'll see you later, everybody. I'm. I'm. We can be done. <laughs> You obviously don't want to record anymore, so <laughs> it's cool. Anybody home? All right. Bye. All right. Bye. It's almost more tr- more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> it is. It it when when we click, it's easy. You sit down, you record, you pop it out, and it's fun. Yep. But when you know, fuck, I've been up for like nineteen hours already. I'm fucking tired. Our schedules don't line up. Right. Um. And then now after this, my night is going to be if I do if I don't do anything with it tonight, which I don't have to because it's only Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be all of tomorrow between the editing and the show art and the fucking Twitter and the fucking uploading and shit. And for what? For a hundred people to listen to this piece of shit? Right. All the signs, all the signs are pointing towards just being done. Just, just be done with it. But when we're on and we click, it's fun and I like doing it. I agree with you. All the signs say just it was fun, and we did we accomplished what we said we were going to accomplish. We did it for a year. Yep. Um. And then as soon as I I turn off this mic tonight, I'm going to be like, I can't wait till the next time that we record. <laughs> right. There's so much that I want to talk about. So I, I I don't know how to do it, but. We need to figure out what the hell's wrong. What's what? What's how do we get back to the part where where it's good, where it works? <laughs> I'll be on back on first shift in two weeks if that makes a difference. Two more weeks at third shift. Well, it doesn't make a difference because you can't record during the week, and I'm not. I don't blame you for that. I mean, there's it's it's a whole night when when we decide we're going to record. It's a whole night. So. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've been at it for a while now. I just I don't know. I don't know what to do. But like I said, I it it sucks because I don't want to quit. I like doing the podcast. But again, I have no interest in doing what we just did cuz I like you as a friend, right? But you really piss me off when we have a show like that. <laughs> it just fucking pisses me off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so, so, everybody, you should come listen to Who's Right. <laughs> 30 second promo time, go. <sighs> all I think about all week long is my mind always goes to what can we do to get this show out there? Man, we need, we need to make this show successful, blah, 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 make the show better. And we're going to talk about this. We're going to do this. And then we sit down to record and it's like, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Why the hell is that? Okay, so here's what I think. All right. You put this thing on here for porn on Google Drive and offensive language on Skype. Yeah. It is a great topic to talk about. Yeah. It is not a great topic to talk about on a comedy show. 
I or at least I don't know how to make it funny. And if I don't know how to make it funny and you don't come even with so much as an angle other than this is fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's, I don't know I don't know where to go with it. Okay. And I think that might You want to keep do you want to keep recording while we're doing this yeah. hashing out shit? Yes, of course. So I I don't maybe that might be the 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 key right there. I don't think of when I put anything on the board, I'm not thinking how can I make this funny. What I'm thinking is how can we make this an interesting conversation? Me and you together just talking about anything. Usually it is funny whether it's we try to be funny or don't I don't I don't need an angle. I don't I don't when I try to have an angle it comes off forced and I don't like it. So I, I want to have a genuine conversation and we each have our own point of view and it comes off funny. But what you want is you want to, how are we going to make this funny? Well, that's not how I operate. And, and I think we, we're coming at it totally different. If we just, if we just put things up to have a conversation, I think we will naturally come off funny. No, we, we've tried that in the past. And yes, we can have a conversation about anything and there's a good chance that it's going to be funny. But then there's the other chance that it's not. And I don't want to take the time to sit down and record a conversation of us talking about something. I want it to be an hour worth listening to, not an hour that you, you garner nothing from. And and when you put... And, and I've done it too. I'm not attacking. When when you put an, a, a story up and the only thing you have to say is, this is fucked, then I immediately feel like I have to come up with something. What? It's either read the story, like right there on the show, or, yeah, it, it that is fucked. I, I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't have an angle. And you have to have an angle, even if your angle is just to talk about it. But then be prepared to talk about it. Right. And and if that's the case on these stories on this board that you don't have an angle, then just put no angle. At, at least then when I'm scrolling the board, I would at least know that, okay, he's going to want to just have a talk about how fucked up this is. And maybe I can interject a thought into it if, if I – pre-read the stories but with the shit we put up here neither one of us and we agreed on this don't pre-read the stories anymore right right so if if i put something up here everything that i put up i had an angle there was a reason why i put it up there not just because it was interesting even if it was just a a a punchline to a joke that i knew that i would get to something but there has to be an angle but just to put something up there and then hash it out in an hour and compress that into 15 minutes of whatever that segment's about is, is I I think you're right. I think we just want two different types of shows, right? I want, I, I want it. I don't want a 15 minute conversation between the laughs. I, yeah. It's not a matter of 15 minute conversation between the laughs. It's a matter of when me and you talk, it's usually interesting and funny, but you you don't seem to think that it's interesting. You just, you just, like I said, you just want the funny parts. Well, I mean, it, it, it doesn't work that way. It, we, we don't work that way together. Even there are conversations that we have that, that are just interesting. And for some reason, you're like completely against that against putting out anything interesting or, or saying anything. You've got it in your head that nobody cares what we think. So we just need to just make Dick and fart jokes and, which I love dick and fart jokes. It's fucking great. But there's nothing wrong with, with talking, too. No, I so one, I am anti-dick and fart jokes. That makes it sound like I'm always looking for the cheap laugh. That's not the case at all. But I'm looking for the laugh, definitely. We, we promote ourselves as a comedy podcast. And then... <clears throat> that was almost a fucked up thing to say. All right. No, say it. <laughs> I can't. It has nothing to do with you. Um, so we promote right. ourselves. We promote, promote ourselves as a comedy pod. We're going to put this out, right? This conversation yeah. right now. Oh yeah, of course we can put okay, this yeah. out right fucking right now. I don't care. Well, we can't. We still have to edit it. Nope. And put it together. Nope. We're putting it out two separate feeds, mine and yours. 
we're fucking done together. We got two separate feeds. Fuck this shit. <laughs> There's See? a gimmick. See, that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah. So we we promote ourselves as a comedy podcast. We put out a, a, approximately an hour a week. Mm-hmm. I want that hour to be funny. I don't want to have a 15 minute conversation in there about porn images on Google Drive. It's it's not. There's nothing there. There, there, We don't have any insight into this situation that we can provide somebody that's going to change their mind. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I, I am absolutely not trying to change somebody's mind, but that doesn't mean that we don't have insight. And that doesn't mean that the conversations we have won't lead to something interesting and funny. But if we don't let them go there, then we're, we're missing a lot and we're just going for... For what I, I don't I'm, I'm not sure what it is that you want then. I mean, if we can't have a normal conversation and try to get some laughs out of it, okay, what are okay. we trying to do? Every time that you and I talk on the phone, yeah, every single time, yeah, there is a laugh every fucking fifteen seconds. Right, there is something funny said. Right, on the phone. Then we get on our comedy podcast and we talk for twenty minutes. Right, you don't think there's a fucking problem there. <laughs> People seem to like our show, so no. I mean, I, I and everybody that listens keeps telling us that the shows are funny and good. So where is the problem? Not everybody. That bitch left us a one star review. What was her name again? Oh, uh, Lacey. Lacey. Something. Yeah, Lacey. But don't. Okay, you know, you know what I've been hearing recently mm. for feedback. Mm. Your guys' show is really tight. It was really funny. Really tight means that there wasn't a lot of gaps in there in the conversation and whatnot. Right. Um, a 20-minute conversation about Google Drive is not tight. It's 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 not fun. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I would be willing to bet if we stopped right now and went back and listened, you would laugh through most of the show. Probably because I was attacking you. you Exactly. That, but that's the show you said you don't want to do. Ex- and 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 if I said next week's show is going to be just like that. Matter of fact, every show is going to be like that. Yeah, I'm out. If you, <laughs> oh, right. So you don't want to do it. So right. I want a I want a funny show. Uh huh. You want a show where we can just talk. Uh huh. And and be funny. What when, when we have a conversation where we just talk and I turn it into me attacking you, mm-hmm. you're gonna quit. Right. Okay, so you're telling me then you're trying to bully me into not bullying you, right? You're, you're. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> I won't have it. I'm, I'm gonna quit you, before you can quit from me bullying you. you. You can, you can bully me. Just don't be a dick. You're being a dick. What's the difference? <laughs> there is a huge difference. You, if you want to talk about my mom being a whore, that's funny. But if that's you're, oh, that's a fucking year, fifty two weeks. Yes. Wait, how, how long have we been doing this? Like 80 weeks or something? Something. 70? 68? I don't remember. But anyways, you make it very apparent that you have no interest in what I'm saying. Yes. So then what's the point of me even talking? And then when I stop talking... Move on to the next subject. So, so you, you, you make it apparent that you have no interest in what I'm saying... So I stop right. talking, and then you get mad that I stop talking. No, 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 no. I have no interest in what you are talking about. I, I don't give a fuck about porn on Google Drive. I made that clear. I'm all for it, whatever it is. If it's if it's if they're banning midget porn on Dropbox, good. Don't use Dropbox. That's what I said. Don't use and, the service. And my my. It's like you wouldn't even listen to what I was trying to say because you had it predetermined in your mind. It's not no. going to be funny, so we're done. Move on. No, that's not the case at all. You lost me when you said uh, that it should be mandated by the government. I never said that. because Yes, you did. If you listen back, you said that. Maybe you misspoke, but you said that. I said I never said mandated by the government. I said that there are things that are for a common good. I believe that. Go on. Finish your fucking quote, Dick. What I did, I, I, I said there are things for a com, for the common good. I, what do you mean? Finish my quote. What did you? What were the words that you uttered right after "common good"? I, I don't fucking remember. 
I don't remember. I don't even remember that if should I be said mandated, that. That should be mandated by the government. I, w- I want you to find that because I didn't say that. It's on your track. You haven't sent it to me yet. How the and, fuck can I, I find it? And I ain't gonna. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we got a 30 uh, second promo yet? Uh, yeah, check out Peter Norica. <laughs> this might be your last chance to hear him. <laughs> Maybe you should do a Twitter poll asking if we should stop the show. I, I, I always answer yes, stop the show on all them polls. Nobody even listens. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what? I was just going to do one right here while we're on the. <laughs> Who, whoever the first response is, that'll decide if we're going to quit the show. Yep. <laughs> no, nope. like you said, it's it's every third, fourth, fifth show, whatever it is. Every once in a while, we'll have a show like this. And I'm telling you that I play off of you. That's the way this works. It always has. So when you come with an attitude of whatever attitude you have, how do you think that's going to work? And I came with that attitude. So first off, I didn't come with that attitude. I started off with a story about my personal life and all that bullshit. Yep. And you were doing nothing. And it started irritating me. So then I I started getting shitty. Yep. But right off the bat, you said your brain is not working tonight. You You just weren't there. It's like it's I, I as soon as you started talking and you couldn't put three fucking words together without ha- stroking out, I wanted to say let's just try this again tomorrow. And it, instead, we just rode this plane right into the side of the fucking mountain. No, because I have a moment of where I couldn't think Autism. of what I, I had a moment where I couldn't think of what I was trying to say, and you took that as. Well, this show is done. It's over. So then the rest of the show went downhill from there. I guess I don't understand why. Why not just move on from that? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you? Why, why didn't you? <laughs> Every, it's always on me to fucking move on or drive this or do this. You do it. God damn it. <laughs> what? Fuck. What would, what would you like me to do differently? Oddly enough, I made a list. Hold on. All right. Be funny. All right. Hold on. Quit coughing into the mic. All right. You put one one thing on each page? (laughs) Small pages. Are you familiar with what a non sequitur is? Yes. Stop doing that. Fuck that. I like that. Uh, promote the show. Nah, I don't know about all that. Uh, pre-read the stories that you put on the Trello board? No. <laughs> uh, the, the stories that you do come on with have an angle. No. The angle is to have a conversation. Okay, next. If you come on with the intent of having a conversation, have at least half of that conversation ready. Mm-mm. You know, like the the side of the conversation you're going to be on. Mm-mm. Other than this is stupid. Mm-mm. Nope, I like spontaneity. Okay, next. All right, let's let's fucking work on spontaneity. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. All right. Cox muffin motherfucker. All right. Here. This is going to be the test on whether or not we quit our fucking podcast right here. Okay. Give me a number between 1 and 10. 7. I, I should have known that was coming. I'm going to go to the 7th newspaper or, or the 7th news story. 7th news story. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7th news story on what? What are you? Google News. Okay. Child welfare authorities sought to question family days before fatal crash. Just days before an SUV carrying a family of eight plummeted from a cliff in Northern California. (laughs) We are definitely going to keep doing the show. (laughs) (laughs) 
Child welfare <sighs> authorities in Washington State had attempted to contact the children's parents about allegations of abuse. As crews continued to scour the rugged California coastline for the bodies of three of the children on Thursday, <laughs> the Washington Christ. State Department of Social and Health Services confirmed that it had received a complaint of potential child abuse or neglect on March 23rd. Department staff attempted to reach the parents that same day but were unsuccessful. Three days later, the family's GMC Yukon was found smashed on rocks some 100 feet below a highway, one turnabout in Mendo- Mendocino County. Parents Jennifer and Sarah Hart. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Parents Jennifer and Sarah Hart, both 39, were found dead inside the vehicle. The bodies of three of their six children were found nearby along the rock. Boats and aircraft are now searching for the bodies of the other three children. An entire family vanished and... Par- they didn't vanish? <laughs> it's always back to the fucking vanished with these people. Always. always. <laughs> uh, we have every indication to believe that all six children were in there. The disclosure was raised even more questions about the tragic and unexplained death of a family that drew widespread attention when one of the missing sons, Devante Hart was photographed hugging a Portland, Oregon police sergeant at a protest related to unrest in Ferguson. Oh, this fucking story sucks, man. I, I don't even want to make it funny. <laughs> you don't. You, why not? This is shitty, man. All so, right, all right, all right. Five. <laughs> Cut. We're going to go back. Five. <laughs> you know, when, when I'm sitting here reading this story and, you know, because it was funny that the story that I picked was about a whole fucking family <laughs> jumping up, driving off a cliff. Yep. That to me was funny. Yep. But when I started reading about names and kids' bodies on the rocks and shit, it, I'm, I'm like, you know what? Maybe there's not a whole lot of comedy in there that, unless you have time to write a joke. And then I was right back in when you said that their names were Emily and Karen or whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay, so there's six kids. Uh-huh. It looks like there's five black kids and one Mexican kid. Are the and then two white women. Ooh, so that's racist. That's, I just thought of a horrible fucking that's, joke. That's that's cultural <laughs> appropriation, man. <laughs> Fuck. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> Oh, I am not fucking saying it on here. There's no fucking way. Come on. We'll bleep it out. <laughs> Just say it real quiet to me. Hold on. I'm going to call you. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll put it right up to the mic. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to cut this part out. Oh, yeah. Shut your mic off. I, why'd you repeat the punchline, you son of a bitch? What? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Prove that I did. <laughs> that's not funny. Oh, it's not. You're right. But they're lesbians. That's funny, right? <laughs> What's the deal with the lesbians? <laughs> Maybe we need to start writing more jokes. See, now I'm in a better mood. You see? <laughs> Tell me a story about six kids in a car accident. All right, what's the, what's article number five? I don't even know that I want to put out any any of this shit this week. Why? Well, there's so much to edit, and I don't want to listen to it. <laughs> it's like over almost going to be two hours by the time we're done. <laughs> yeah, and we got to move shit around and and drop this shit in here and move this shit over here. Fuck it. And I think just put it all out. Just put them both together and put it all out as one. No, because I, I got to take that fucking joke out. No, just leave it in. They'll never know. <laughs> You know the people that listen to this show now. I can't leave it in. Uh, oh, them people. I see how you are. <laughs> All right, what's what's new story number five? Let's do this again. <laughs> we, we got this now. We'll just put just this one out. <laughs> I'm back in it. I'm back into doing a show now. I'm... No. No, I'm no. All right. All right. You ready? I'm going to find a... F- Give me a number. Uh, four. I'm not ready yet. All right. All right. We're going to do a random. I got to go to this fucking site here. All right. 
Um, motherfucker. Motherfucker! Uh-huh. All right. All right. Four? Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Ludwig's Haven police officer helps clueless boyfriend end relationship. A man walked into a police station and said he wanted to break up with his girlfriend but did not know how. <laughs> a police officer took him aside and offered one of perhaps 50 ways for him to leave her. A 34-year-old man took the motto, the police, your friend, and helper to heart when he walked into the police station on Tuesday. His problem was a personal one. He wanted to break up with his girlfriend but did not know how. He just did not understand her anymore, he said. One of the female officers took him aside and proposed several alternative scenarios. The police force did not describe what options had been suggested to the man, but were very clear that actual breaking up was a job he would have to do himself. We are willing to advise, but we cannot close the deal, the police reported afterward. We help everyone, and we always have an open ear for citizens' concerns. Whether the man took the advice is not yet known. This isn't a fucking news story. This is fucking stupid. It's PR for the police department. Yeah, it's it's public bullshit. What they did was said, just plant drugs on her. We'll come arrest her. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> uh, what color is she? Black. <laughs> we can shoot her. <laughs> we can there's shoot her. No problem. There's laws on the books that say we can shoot her. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I, I I don't I don't want to edit this. If you want to edit this shit, then go ahead. But I there's just take out the shit that will get, will get me fired. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be a lot of editing, right? <sighs> all I'm gonna do is take out all the spaces. You don't even do that. Yeah, but there was a lot in this one. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Do you feel better or are you still mad? You still butt hurt. You were the one that was butt hurt. You wanted to quit. You fucking puss. You wanted to quit, bitch. All right. Well, and that's why you should come listen to Who's Right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're using, by the way. Just take out the parts that'll get me fired. And that's why you should listen to Who's Right. <laughs> All right, uh, I apologize, everybody. If you may, even if you even fucking made it this far, I oh, I, I really doubt anybody did. <laughs> All right, all right, bye, bye. <laughs>